I promise I won't be here long, and that is a promise. I appreciate the Lord tonight, don't you? Aren't you glad you heard a positive message? Um, I'm glad I didn't get a program at the door where they told me he was going to preach about so-and-so. He'd be up 15 minutes. And uh, Sister Marlowe was going to sing this one, and this one was going to sing that one. Because if that would have happened, Sister Leilani wouldn't have been able to rejoice in the Lord. Is that correct? in that song about breaking the chains and the more I praise his name and the more I raise my hands he breaks the bands because that would have been a program but tonight we allowed the Holy Ghost to come in and be a part of where we're at didn't we? Amen. Aren't you glad you can come to a place where the Holy Ghost is welcome? There's a lot of places that close the door before he even comes in. They don't even give him a chance to be a part of but when I come here, I come here for one reason, and that is to feel the presence of Jesus Christ. I can sit in front of my television and hear all of what he told you, but I didn't come here to hear all of the world. He gave us a message, and what a positive message for me to take home and live by. Because it was directed and ordered by the Lord. So I appreciate the Lord tonight. I thank God for what he's done. All day long, I, that song, uh, I came in here with that song, all day long, I've been with Jesus. The Bible said, if, you, if you're, if he will keep you in perfect peace, whose mind has stayed on him. You start thinking about what's going wrong. And I'm not, I'm not beating your message up, Pastor. I'm with you on your message. But you start thinking about all of that stuff he was telling you about and making us aware of because that's what he's supposed to do. But if I sit at home and begin to watch all of that stuff, begin to go on a website, begin to go to a site to where I can see all of it, but my mind won't be on Jesus. But if I begin to think about Jesus and I begin to think about what he's done for me and I begin to tell somebody about what he's done for me, I begin to tell him how much he's helped me. I begin to tell my neighbor I love him. My mind would be on Jesus. But I tell my neighbor how much I love him. I begin to think about Jesus. I begin to study about Jesus. I begin to listen about Jesus. I begin to hear his words. I begin to listen for his words. I begin to know about his words because my mind is in perfect peace. Do I have trouble? Do you have trouble? Oh, yes. Just come to my house afterwards if you want to hear about my troubles. I'll tell you everything you want to know. Because you'll be there a long time. But I don't want to tell you about my troubles. I want to tell you about the problem solver. I want to talk about Jesus. I want to talk about him where my mind stays in perfect peace. Not in turmoil. Not in wondering what's going to happen. But knowing that my God has an ear that he will hear. And a hand that he will reach. And an eye that he can see me. And he can know what I'm going through. When I need him. How I need him. What I need him for. When he's supposed to be there. He'll be there. You've heard enough preaching and enough people, so I just love the Lord. I thank Him for what He's done. I do. I was I was reminiscing today about all that the Lord has done for the church, not me. I I, I, I talk to Him all day long about me, but I begin to think about Lord. Thank you for helping the church. Because had you not helped the church, we wouldn't have a place to be. Had you not touch some people's minds, uh -huh. I wouldn't have a place to be. Right. Right. If you did not give a man and a woman a vision, yeah. you would have not given Jim Roberts a vision. If you did not give all of those people a vision, uh -huh. if they would have just said forget about it, when they wanted to say forget about it, when they decided to pack their bags, and but they didn't pack their bags, they stayed right here, and knowing that the world around them was crumbling, they didn't, they said my mind will stay on Jesus. Jesus, because he will keep me in perfect peace. Here we are tonight, every one of us. You 
think about the number of churches in this town. I said I'm going to go. I am really am. Think about the number of churches in this town. There is a pile of churches in this town. Every kind of church. And I don't knock none of them churches. Every one of you know my biological father is down there. He preaches in the Christian assembly. I love them all. I appreciate them all. But God didn't call me to call you, call me to those places. He called me here where I could hear a man tell me about living above sin, about living out of this world and living un un unconditionally out of this world and keeping my mind on Jesus and not just a some fable that they're going to get up and tell me that I could be rich and 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 rich. If we could all be rich, God would have made us all rich. But he didn't make us all rich. He gave some to some and some to some and he now he gave nothing to some and but he made us all equal in one one in the body of Christ. I know that didn't make no sense to you, but it made sense to me. If he wanted us all rich, why would we why why wouldn't we be rich, right? I, mean, I like a prosperity message every now and then. Preach me a prosperity message, Brother Martin. Let me know that one day I'll be rich and won't have to worry about how tomorrow's going to happen. I'm going to tell you you are rich. That's right. Yeah. See, I, don't worry about, I don't worry about riches. On, I mean, I worry about them. Don't get me wrong. But I know who God is. I know what's going to take place. Hey, I worry about riches every day. You do what we do in this world, and you worry about rich. You worry, if you don't worry about riches every day and worry about money, something's wrong with you. Well, you're blessed. How's that sound? Yeah. Anyway, we'll leave it at that. But I just appreciate I appreciate God for what He's done right here at the Bradenton Gospel Tabernacle. Hey, 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 hey. How many friends do you actually have? I got one. Look at all these one. friends you have in the yes. all these righteous yes. friends we have in the body of Christ, brother. Right. Not unrighteous right. friends. They're all righteous friends. Right. When you need something, all you got to do is pick up the phone around here. Yes. Right. Most of the time, it'll happen unless most people are busy, right? Right. Ninety-nine percent of the time, it gets happening. So I love him. I appreciate him. Thank you, yes. church, for. Being here for us, being here for me, loving me and Amen. through my disappointments and all the things that I do. And I love you and we love one. I just appreciate, I was just appreciating the Lord today. I just wanted God to know that I loved him. We go through the world asking him for so much, wanting so much from him. I, God, I need you. God, I want this. God, I got to have this. God, I need, got to have it. But how many times do we say, God, thank you? for what you've given me. Thank you for what you've done, Lord. Even though you may hurt, even though you may be in pain, but you can still say, thank you, God. I appreciate you. So I love you tonight. You know what I say? I say, I say, I hope and praise God I love you. Give me out of pain. I appreciate him. We're going to have dinner tonight and tomorrow. Brother Marlo gave you all the, all the stuff you needed to know and like to see you all in the dining room tomorrow and just love yeah. the Lord and I appreciate it. Let's all rise to our feet and ask the Lord to go with us. Lord, we thank you for this night. We appreciate you. We love you. Thank you for the message. Thank you for the song. Thank you for the word. Thank you for everything you've done for us, Lord. We just appreciate you. We ask you to go with us. God, love you. Lord, we appreciate you. Lord, we just thank you for what you've given us tonight. Let us grow in grace and knowledge and statue. And we appreciate you, Lord. Cover us on our way home. And everybody said, Amen. Oh, hey, I get to do the honors. I, did, I, I, I didn't forget, but I did forget. I knew it was. I want to wish my parents, Brother John and Sister Teresa, a happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. I think they've been married about 50 years. I'm not quite sure. I can't remember how many years. But how many years have you been married, Mom? 34 years. So let's give my mom let's go and happy I think it's uh, Manny. It's your birthday, Manny. Happy birthday to you.
going to be on a handkerchief share, and everybody that will. Thank you, preacher man. With the elders, see you tomorrow. Right, right. Um, pray with the elders. This handkerchief is going to Sister Elana's brother, Amen. and she's believing. God 